What's happening, guys? My name is Adam, aka Speed Spectrum, and welcome back to Let's Play and Dub The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Switch. In the last episode, we explored the Tail Cave, acquired the Rock's Feather, defeated Moldorm, and obtained the Full Moon Cello, the first instrument of the Sirens. The Owl told us we needed to head for Gopanga Swamp because that's where the second instrument resides, and that's what we'll be doing in this video. However, it seems as if the kids are distressed. Let's find out what's up. Yeah. Hey, buddy, it's serious. Yeah, really serious. Yeah, it is. The Moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole gang of Moblins. Then... It's for real! They all went to the house! Yeah, that house! And then they did something at Bow Wow's house! It was a really bad scene with the moblin! So I mean, yeah! You might be faster to find out for yourself what happened! For the record, Bow Wow is the chain shop that lives in Mabe Village, and as you can see, he is not here. And Madam Meow Meow is not taking it well. So, we're going to be a good Samaritan and help her out. After all, we are the main character, and that's what we do. However, we're going to take a detour. Yep, I know I just contradicted what I said, but there is something we need to obtain at the trendy game. Take a look at the moving platforms and we can see there's another figurine for us to collect. Now, I'm not going to spend minutes trying to grab the figurine. If I fail the first two times, I'll cut until I get it. Alright, this Goomba figurine is going to be a little tougher to obtain. This time, I want to move forward first. And I need to position the crane so that it passes under and then passes back. There we go. I think this should be good. Hopefully. Oh, just missed it. Oh, the shame of it. I almost had that, but the timing was just a little bit off. <laughs> Unfortunately, the platforms are pushing it to and fro. So I'm going to have to uh, be a little crafty here. This time, I'm going to move to the right first. And now, I'm going to move forward. Although I don't think I moved to the right far enough. And yeah, I'm not going to get this one. All right, since I failed twice, I'm going to cut until I grab it. All right, that only took four attempts. That's not bad. Far better than that infernal secret seashell I had to grab. Ugh, don't remind me of that. Anywho, check it out. You got a Goomba figure! Try to resist the urge to jump on it. No matter, we won't be jumping on it. We're going to place it on a stand. And that stand is none other than in Marin and Tarin's house. And Tarin is sawing logs. Let's hear what he has to say. If you don't know, call old man Orira. Wow, you're just a fountain of information, aren't you, Turin? This is the stand we want to place it on. And here we go, we have our second figure placed. It's a Goomba figure. Its maker put a lot of love into sculpting the eyebrows. I do have to agree with that. The eyebrows are incredibly detailed. All of that effort for a Goomba. Now I just want to check the trendy game one more time to make sure there's nothing else that I need to collect. 
And there is not. The Goomba figure was replaced with a shield, so we don't need to be in here anymore for the time being. All right. Now, we're going to behave like a proper hero and rest. Ow! Jerk. I forgot to mention, if you hit that dog, he will retaliate. And yeah, that kind of hurt. In order to reach Bow Wow, we'll have to go through the mysterious forest again. But, now that we have the rock's feathers, we can cover a little more ground. Even better, we don't have any reality warping raccoons to deal with. I wonder if Turin secretly doesn't like us, because he was the raccoon and he warped reality. He teleported us to another section of the forest. And now that he's asleep in his house, he flat out refuses to help us. He's kind of a jerk. All of which is ironic because he's supposed to bear resemblance to Mario. Alright, let's chop you Zoles apart. And I'm just going to do this because I feel like it. Wow, this looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. I know I said this before, but man, was that message annoying in the original games. We'll have an item to correct that once we get to the second dungeon. Speaking of the second dungeon, it's close by. And just a hop, skip, and a jump across these gaps to reach the sixth piece of heart. No, strike that, this is the fifth piece of heart. Okay, I am starting to lose track of my heart pieces. That is not a good sign. What does this sign have to say? Speaking of which, Tao Tao Heights. Right here is Tao Tao Heights. And right over here is the Moblin's Hideout. Huh? Who's this suspicious looking runt? Okay, boys, let's get rid of him! All right, time for some Moblin slaying, or Moblin mashing. I'll call it that because I like alliteration. Okay, these guys are a bit of a handful. Best to eliminate them one at a time. Oh, that hurt a little bit. Jeez, these spears are giving me all that I can handle. Die, die! There we go. And now comes the Grand Poobah. You must be an assassin sent by Madame Yam Yam to rescue the mutt. You came here to get me, but it is I who will get you! We have a mini boss, the Moblin Chief. He is relatively simple. He'll throw spears and then he'll charge at you. And when he runs into the wall, he'll get stunned. Now, if he charges long enough, he'll stop himself, but thankfully he did it. And I just gotta say something. This dude throws spears at you, and if that doesn't work, he tries to impale you with his horns. This guy is hardcore. Oh, there, he stopped himself. Oh, I'm running out of health. He has a surprisingly high amount of health, but he goes down all the same. Not like I was worried, I had a fairy, and speaking of which, Berries! Sorry, had to throw a Fairly Odd Parents reference in there. <laughs> but with the Moblin Chief defeated, it's Bow Wow! You've saved Bow Wow! What a fearsome beast! Fearsome beast he is! With Bow Wow on our leash, now we can head back to the village. You don't need to, but there are some things that I want to show off with Bow Wow, because he's rather special. But first, a visit from our good friend, the Owl. Don't! That is a fearsome looking animal you have there. Do not forget, the next instrument is in Gopanga Swamp. When you really think about it, Bow Wow can be considered the first animal friend that Link's ever had. Because for those of you who have played the Oracle games, you'll know that he had a choice of three different animal buddies. And let's face it, he rides a bird in Skyward Sword. 
So, it's kind of cool that many of the staples in recent Zelda games can trace their origins back to Link's Awakening. But anyway, on to Bow Wow. As you've probably seen, he can eat enemies. And as you saw right there, he told us to dig. That is because there is a secret seashell in this patch of dirt. The bad news is we have no way of excavating it. So Bow Wow is nice to have. See, he devours enemies in one bite. And this just begs the question, how the heck did the Moblins capture him? I mean, look at that. He takes down Moblins in one gulp. This guy is an absolute boss. So how did he get captured? This is even more puzzling when you consider that chain chomps themselves are made of really hard stuff. In fact, I want to share a bit of interesting trivia about chain chomps. Shigeru Miyamoto designed them after a dog that almost attacked him when he was a child. But thankfully for him, the dog was chained to a post. Hence, the chain chomp was born. Once again, three hearts in these bushes, as always. So let's pay a visit to Madame Meow Meow. Because we have rescued her baby. And she is very, very happy. But she wants us to take him for a walk. Once again, being a good Samaritan, we have to do it. I wish we had Bow Wow for longer because he is really, really nice to have. Because what he eats, he destroys, plain and simple. See? I rest my case. I wish there was a whistle that you could use to call him, or a flute, as you uh, had one in the Oracle games. Remember, you, you, you played a flute to call your animal buddy. And thank goodness for the piece of power. I love me some piece of power. Now, here at the chest where we found the tail key, this time we're going to head to the left. Because I want to collect some optional rupees. I also want to show off that new enemy over there. That thing with the gaping hole on top of it is a like-like. Like-likes are enemies that gobble you up and eat your shield. So, don't get too close, because if your shield is eaten, you'll have to go buy another one at the shop. And that would not be good, especially considering we're going to need a lot of rupees. Speaking of... Wow, that was an epic jump fail. There, that's more like it. Open the chest, and obtain 20 rupees. Joy indeed. How come whenever you obtain 20 rupees, it says joy? And whenever you obtain 50 rupees, it says very nice. It's a mystery to me. All right, we're going to continue venturing through these planes or wherever we are. Oh, another indicator of where a secret shell may be, courtesy of Bow Wow. There's also a phone booth here if you need one. And I've just got to be careful not to jump in front of that like-like. That's good. All right, we've made it. Here we are in Gopanga Swamp. Let's check out the sign. Danger, keep out, except Bow Wow. Well, that's good. That means we're in the right place. We have a couple of new enemies here. First, the piranhas. They can only be hit when they are jumping out of the water. And I am doing a terrible job. There we go, that's better. Another new enemy, Gopanga Flowers. You can't hit them with your sword, but they won't attack you. However, Bow Wow can easily devour them. He can also devour these guys, giant Gopanga Flowers. Unlike the regular Gopanga Flowers, they will attack you and unleash a spore. At least I think it's a spore, it might be poison gas, whatever it is, it's dangerous. This is rather interesting considering they shot fireballs at you in the classic game. And with the giant Gopanga flowers out of the way, let's grab the purple rupee. Excellent. Most excellent indeed. Now, I just realized there was something that I completely forgot. It isn't necessary, but I might as well take care of it while the getting's good. 
Besides, the more time we have with Bow Wow, the better. There is a heart piece that we can obtain that is close by the Modelin's hideout. And it's not too much of a trek, so we might as well go ahead and grab it. Oh, there's a heart. Very nice. Let's go ahead and jump! And now, we're going to head back the way we came, or rather the way we took to get the fifth piece of heart. Oh, my. You certainly are a hungry little fellow, aren't you? Now, there's no way we can go over there. However, we can move down. And now we can clear this pit courtesy of the rock's feather. This is going to take us to the graveyard, or the cemetery. And if we walk this way, we can reach the Tabal Wasteland. We also encounter new enemies, crows! Crows are too high for you to reach at first, but when they swoop down, they can, they, you can then hit them with your sword. They also take two hits, so they're pretty resilient for birds, but that's not important. What is important is this right here. Jump across, head to the right, and grab a piece of heart. Number six, to be exact. And that's good, because I was running a little low on health. All right, with all that has been taken care of, it is time for us to uh, not go this way, because we have no way of lifting those rocks yet. We will once we get to the next video. This invariably leads us to taking the long way around. And I might as well talk about these ghosts. They are genies. These ghosts are quite resilient. They take a lot of hits from your sword, so we're not going to bother fighting them. We will come back to the cemetery for a rather important side quest. And that side quest is definitely worth talking about. See, Bow Wow is incredibly amazing. In fact, he's so much of a boss that he can even eat electrified enemies and not get hurt in the process. That is pretty cool. All right. Once again, we're going to head back the way we came. I know, backtracking. It's an LPR's best friend. I apologize if this video hasn't been as exciting as some of the other videos, but we're going to make up for that once we tackle the second dungeon. Sadly, the flowers have all respawned. He seems to target Gopanga flowers more than other enemies, and that's... And the reason for that being is that Gopanga flowers are implied to be Bow Wow's favorite food. And we might as well go ahead and get rid of you, because uh, you're only going to cause us trouble. And with all of the enemies defeated, right here is the second dungeon. And take a look! He devoured the enemies just like that. So next time on Let's Play and Dub, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, we're going to tackle Dungeon 2. See you guys next time!